The today is Thursday, November twenty thirtieth,、uh, uh, the last day of this month. Tomorrow is December first. So we pass the hump day, and I have to go to work again on Thursday today. Before I go to work on foot for forty minute. Uh, for fifty minutes walk, which is、uh, four kilometers away, I'm going to read this article from How Stuff Works.、Uh, I was not interested in the Bible or、uh, Christianity, Catholicism, Islam, but after read,、uh, listening to、uh, lessons lectures by the、uh, Doctor Musi. Uh, from the Harvard Theology School, I got interested in the religion.、Uh, please listen to、uh, Dr. Moose、uh, Moose's、uh, lectures on YouTube, or maybe you can uh, download uh, his uh, lectures on in video form.、Uh, it's quite、uh, eye-opening,、uh, interesting, and well organized. Uh, lectures. I was surprised at his depth of knowledge, and also he、uh, teaches meditation. So uh, generally, uh, he is open-minded towards any religion.、Uh, he doesn't have any、uh, biased faith. But let's find out how the Bible got into the current form. This article once again is from How Stuff Works, and I'm trying to read this article also. To learn English by reading it aloud, so pick up the knowledge, pick up knowledge, and also、uh, learn English by reading it, reading this article. Here we go. By the way, I'm Korean. I work for Korea Telecom KT, the number one carrier in Korea, and but I work on the national side. I hope to work on the、uh, overseas side. But、uh, I didn't get any chance at that. Please, if there are some influential、uh, people out there, please select me for overseas position,、uh, so that I could use this knowledge. Who decided which books of the Bible made the a、uh, final cut? Make the final cut. That's good cliche, right? Here, man. I'm talking about this. May the final cut cut off point by Dave Roos, updated August third, twenty first, twenty twenty three. An Ethiopian Orthodox priest shows an ancient Bible in a church in Lalibela, Ethiopia. Eric Lafug art in Oliver's Kobe's via Get Images. Yeah, the Ethiopian guy looks more like a、um, Israeli to me. So uh, 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 the Italy,、uh, Spain,、uh, what else? Italy, Spain,、uh, Israel, Palestine, Lebanon, Libya,、uh, Egypt, Jordan. They all. Share the same facial features、uh, to me, right? In his best-selling novel, *The Da Vinci Code*, I've read this that article too. I mean that、uh, novel too. Dan Brown wrote that the Bible was assembled during the famous Council of Nicaea in 325 CE, Christian after Christian BC, right? AD Christian era. Uh, what, Christian era, right? Era, when Emperor、uh, Constantine and church authorities purportedly banned problematic books that didn't conform to their secret agenda. Except that's not how it really went. The Da Vinci Code was fiction, but Brown wasn't the first to credit the Council of Nicaea with deciding. The books of the Bible, deciding right, deciding the books of the Bible, not deciding on, but deciding the books of the Bible. Voltaire, writing in the 18th century, repeated a centuries-old myth that the Bible was canonized in Nicaea by placing all of the known books on a table, saying a prayer, and seeing which、uh, illegitimate texts. 
fell to the floor. Placing all of the known books on a table, saying a prayer and seeing which illegitimate illegitimate texts fell to the floor. Right. Here's another. This is not an idiom, but cliche. Frequently used the expression "fell to the floor" or <laughs> "shoot up to the ceiling." Fell to the floor. Illegitimate texts, prayer, and seeing books. And here, deciding the book. Of the Bible, not deciding on, but deciding the books of the Bible contents. So we have many contents. So who did he cho choose the books of the Bible? Disputed, spurious, 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 downright heretical, making the cut the Bible books among religions. What are the apocrypha and pseudepigrapha stories you didn't learn in Sunday school? So. Who did choose the books of the Bible? In truth, there was no single church authority or council that convened to rubber stamp the biblical canon, official list of books in the Bible. Not at Nicaea or anywhere else in antiquity, explains Jason Combs, an assistant professor at Brigham Young University, specializing in ancient Christianity. Hmm. There was no single church authority or council that convened to rubber stamp the biblical canon, official list of books in the Bible. Really, a uh, rubber stamp, rubber stamp, one, 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 rubber stamp, rubber stamp, rubber stamp. Dan Brown did us all a disservice. Really, Combs says we don't have evidence that. Any group of Christ Christians got together and said, "Let's hash this out once and for all." The Council of Nicaea was convened to resolve a religious matter unrelated to the books of the Bible. Hmm. The Council of Nicaea hashed this out once and for all. Let's remember the sentence.、Uh, good、uh, idioms, right? A cliche, or cliche. Uh, hash this out is another idiom.、Uh, once and for all is another、uh, idiom or、uh, phrase. So let's this let's hash this out once and for all. Let's hash this out once and for all. Let's hash this out once and for all. Let's、uh, hash this out once and for all. What evidence scholars do have in the form of the 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 theological Uh, treaties, treaties, right? The、uh, theological letters and church histories that have survived for millennia points to a much longer process of canonization, canonization from the first through the fourth centuries and beyond. Different church leaders and theologians made arguments about which books belonged in the canon. Often casting their opponents as heretics. Here's another、uh, good expression: casting their opponents as heretics. Casting their opponents as heretics.、Uh, some people say uh, opponents uh, to be uh, uh, enemies, but not enemy, enemies. Opposing ideas, right?、Uh, casting their opponents, heretics. Uh, theologians, theologians, theology,、uh, church leader, religious arguments about which book belonged in the canon. Right, points to a longer process of. Various people wrote the books that make up the Bible over a period of more than one thousand years, between one thousand two hundred B.C.E. and the first century C.E. The Bible contains a variety of literary genres, including poetry, history, songs, stories, letters, and prophetic writings. To me, that doesn't sound like religious. It's more like a pleasure, or the、uh, living guidance, or the day-to-day -day life.、Uh, these were originally written on scrolls of parchment. As opposed to being encapsulated in books, so we think of them today, as we think of them today,、uh, parchment 
on scrolls of parchment, on scrolls of parchment, as opposed to being encapsulated in books. Remember, the printing press wasn't invented until uh, 1440, right? 1440. Rare and ancient biblical manuscripts are displayed at the Book of Books exhibition in the Bible Lands Museum in Jerusalem, Israel. Note, they are all on scrolls. Uriel Sinai get images, so it's protected by the copyright. Over time, the books that were deemed authentic and authoritative by the communities who used them were included in the canon, and the rest were discarded. Although the bulk of that editing work ended in the late 300s, the debate over which books were th theologically legit continued until at least the 16th century when church reformer Martin Luther published his German translation of the Bible. Re yeah, I like the uh, Martin Luther. Uh, his story is, to me, uh, quite funny, uh, realistic, and down-to-earth and he did a good job demolishing the uh, corrupt uh, Catholicism at the time. So uh, uh, the church reformer Martin Luther published his German translation of the Bible. Here, church reformer is a title, so we don't have an article. But sometimes we do have articles, so that's confusing. As, a, as Korean, as a non-native speaker, man. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying, man. I'm looking for uh, disputed, spurious, and downright heretical. Luther had issues with the book of James, which emphasized the role of works alongside the faith. Which emphasized the role of works alongside faith, right? Yeah, works of. So he stuck James and Hebrews in the back of the Bible alongside Jude and Revelation. Really? So he stuck James and Hebrews in the back of the Bible alongside Jude and Revelation which he also thought were questionable. Combs says that in Luther's original Bible, those four books don't even appear in the, Bible, in the table of contents. Hmm. Eusebius was Christian historian writing in the early 300s who provided one of the early lists of which books were considered legit, legit, and which were borderline bogus. <laughs> yeah, that was the word I was looking for when it comes to describing or explaining the content of the Bible. Borderline bogus, right? Borderline bogus, which were considered, which books were considered legit, and which were borderline bogus, man. Boger, borderline bogus. There are some obvious bogus in the Bible then. Eusebius broke his list down into different categories. Recognized, disputed, spurious, spurious, uh, spurious heretical. Well, let's find out the exact pronunciation. Right, spurious, impromptu, spurious, spurious, expanding. Spurious, 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 spurious. false, phony, artificial, intended to deceive, archaic of illegitimate birth, born out of wedlock. False, phony, artificial, bogus, spurious, spurious.
Spurious. So uh, the uh, UK and Australia, spurious, spurious, spurious. 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 So that's why I got confused. Spurious or spurious? Spurious. Spurious, spurious. right? Funny. Oh, I, I forgot about... Yeah, spurious. I don't know. It sounds like a expanding, divulging, man. What is wrong with me? Uh, as Bius broke his list down into different categories, recognized, disputed, spurious, and heretical. So four categories. Among the recognized were the four Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Acts and Paul's episodes. Acts and Paul's episodes. What is episodes? On the disputed, so I'll look it up later, right? Because we don't have time. This one, epistles. On the disputed, Eusebius, Eusebius included James and Jude, the same books Luther didn't like, plus a few others that are now considered the canon, like a 2 Peter, 2 John, and 3 John. Eusebius take on the spurious, spurious and heretical categories gives us a, a glimpse into just how many other texts were in circulation in the 2nd and 3rd century CE. Have you ever heard of the Apocalypse of Peter, the Epistle of Barnabas, or the Gospel of Thomas? Combs says that there were hundreds of texts similar to those found in the New Testament and Old Testament that didn't make it into the canon. Making the cut. Why did some books make the cut and not others? Combs cites three criteria that early church leaders used. One, the first was authorship, whether it was believed to have been written by an apostle, by Paul, or by someone close to them. Mark, for example, wasn't an apostle, but an interpreter for Peter. Really? Second, the second criterion was antiquity, with old texts taking priority over new ones. Three, the third was orthodoxy, or how well the context conformed with the current, current Christian teaching. Conformity, orthodoxy, 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 criterion, second criterion, first was authorship. Mark wasn't an apostle, but an interpreter for Peter. Damn, uh, criterion, orthodoxy. That last reason is so interesting, of course, because current Christian teaching changed over hundreds of years, Combs says. While it's not true to say that a single church council ruled on which books to include in the canon, it's fair to say that over those few, first few centuries of theological debate, the winners got to decide which books would stay and which had to go. Bible books among religions. The Old Testament is the first part of the Bible, starting with the creation of humankind and delving into the influence of God's judgment. Major prophets, minor prophets, the history of ancient Israel, the promised land, and God's relationship with people. The, this includes Genesis, Judges, Psalms, and Wisdom books, and the King David, Moses, Mos, Moses, Abraham are a few of the key figures. The Jewish faith focuses on the Old Testament, with the Torah compiling Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. The First Testament is the second part of a New Testament is the second part of the Bible, which follows the life of Jesus Christ and features the Holy Spirit, Mary, Joseph, and Matthew. 
It includes Matthew, Mark, Acts, and Revelation. It's important to mention that not all Christian denominations consider the same books to be canon. Most Protestant Bibles have 66 books, 29 in the Old Testament and 27 in the New Testament. The Roman Catholic Bible has 73 books, including the seven known as the Apocrypha. Hmm, so they have different canon, right? Different canon. So 66 70, as opposed to 73 books in the Roman Catholic Bible, including the, uh, and the Ethiopian Orthodox Church includes 81 total books in its Bible, including pseudopigrapha, like one eunuch, and jubilees. What are the apocrypha and pseudo, pseudopigrapha? The word apocrypha comes from the Greek for hidden or secret. It's a little confusing because the word apocrypha is used in a couple of different ways when talking about books outside of the standard biblical canon. First, there's the category of New Testament apocrypha, which includes a long list of non-canonical texts written mostly in the 2nd century CE and beyond that pertain to Jesus Christ and his apostles. As Combs says, there are hundreds of these texts, and we don't have written specimens for all of them. Written specimens, specimens, written specimens. Then there's a subset of the Old Testament books that are included in the Roman Catholic Bible. These seven books, including Tobit, Judith, and 1 and 2, Maccabees, are published between the Old and New Testaments in the Catholic Bible and called the Apocrypha, or sometimes the Dura Canon, which means Second Canon. Dura, okay, so do two, right? Dura Canon, Second Canon. And then there's a third category called Pseudopigrapha from the Greek, for false author, this list includes more than 50 texts written between 200 BCE and 200 CE by both Jewish and Christian writers expanding on stories and characters from the Old Testament. Notable Old Testament pseudographa include one eunuch, jubilees, and treaties of Shem. Yep, that's a good story, but I will continue to uh, read from these stories you didn't learn in Sunday school because I have to go to work now. Back at my office, I'm resting at a, a labor union's office for, the, uh, for now because there are no people around here and we are about to start, uh, start today's work. I have uh, like a five minutes to spare, so I'm going to finish this article. Uh, starting from where I left off before I uh, came to my office on foot. Stories you didn't learn in Sunday school. Many of the New Testament texts familiar to Christians today are being used authoritatively already in the second century. But different congregations preferred some texts over others and included some texts that didn't appear in the New Testament. What, what does it mean? Authoritatively already in the second century, so that's 100 to 199 uh, BCE, uh, but different congregations preferred congregations, right? Congregations, churches preferred some texts over others and included some texts that don't appear in the te New Testament. Here are a few. The Gospel of Peter. Only a fragment of this text was recovered in 1886 in Egypt, <coughs> but it includes, includes 
the only narrative account of the resurrected Jesus leaving his tomb. According to Peter's version, two giant angels descended to the tomb and escorted the resurrected Jesus, who was also suddenly gigantic. But the oldest note was that the three figures were followed by a floating, a floating cross that could talk. <laughs> wow, that's quite a leap of faith, man. And they heard a voice from the heavens saying, Thou hast preached to them that sleep. And a response was heard from the cross. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it's quite uh, comical, it's uh, like a classic, uh, I don't know, the Gospel of Mary. Holmes says that some apocryphal texts reflected theological and doctrinal debates going on within the early church, such as the role of women. In the Gospel of Mary, discovered in the late 19th century, Mary Magdalene, is not only referred to as one of one of Jesus disciples but perhaps his favorite one in this text after Jesus resurrection he relays esoteric teachings to Mary who then tells the other dis disciples Peter asks why they should listen to a woman to which another uh, disciple Levi Matthew responds if the Savior made her worthy, who are you then for your part to cast her aside? Surely the Savior knows her full well. That is why he has loved her more than us. I think Jesus had sex with Mary, right? Uh, Mary was concubine, I mean, girlfriend or wife of Jesus. Uh, one Enoch purportedly written by the ancient prophet Enoch before the time of Noah, this text was well known to early Christians like 3rd century theologian, 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 uh, Tertullian, and quoted as authoritative scripture. The text is famous for its description of the watchers, fallen angels mentioned briefly in the Old Testament book of Genesis, these angels lusted after human women. I don't know, so the angels were males, you mean? So male angel and female angel came down to earth to be with them, creating giant offspring. In one Enoch, these angels also introduced uh, evil into the world in the form of weapons, magic, and sexy makeup. So sex makeup is evil. Now that's cool. If you're curious, you can read the English translation of dozens of New Testament Apocrypha and Old Testament uh, Apocrypha online. Did the U.S. President rewrite the Bible? Okay, this one is different. So uh, it's uh, interesting, uh, but uh, judging the context of this article or the Bible itself, uh, I would like to go over the uh, cliches or phrases that I deemed interesting or I judged to be mem memorized by me. Yep, made the final cut, made the final cut, Decided the canon of the Bible, right? Canon. Canon is the list of the books. Confirm uh, the Council of Nicaea, right? Council of Nicaea in 325 CE. The Da Vinci Code, deciding the books of the Bible. Mm-hmm. Legit. Sounds legit. The service. Let's hash this out once and for all. Let's hash this out. Hash. Hash means uh, cut uh, stuff, especially the uh, dust 
or liquid form or some malleable form like a dough, uh, meat, uh, and you cut it up. You, you use a very sharp knife and cut it on the surface uh, like a, a backward slash forward slash horizontal vertical so that there would be a lot of uh, traits of the uh, knife cuts. So hash this out means you delve into it, you cut it up and look into the details and be knowledgeable about the context analyze deeply, right? Let's hash this out once and for, for, for the one last time, the same, same thing, one last time, once and for all. Canon, casting the opponents yeah, casting the opponents as heretics. Heretics. Uh, let's find out the exact pronunciation. Heretics. 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 Not heretic. Heretics. 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 Heretics, right? Heretic. Epistle, 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 epistle. Long form, long formal letter, missive, epistle. Epistle. Epistle is writing or directed or sent to a person or a group of people, usually an elegant and formal didactic letter. The epistle genre of letter writing was common in ancient Egypt as a part of the scribal school writing curriculum. The letters in the New Testament from apostles to Christians was usually referred to as epistles. Epistles. <clears throat> apostles. Apostles. Sounds like similar. Apostles to Christians are usually referred to epistles. Those are traditionally attributed to Paul are known as Pauline epistles and others as Catholic epistles. Epistle. <clears throat> Epistle, 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 Theologian, 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 epistles, 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 theologian, 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 right? So go back. So we cover three words, pronunciations. Hmm. Scrolls of a parchment. Luther discarded debate continued. Martin Luther published alongside questionable in the table of contents. Eusebius. Hmm, what was it? Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. Spurious or spurious, spurious, insane, funny, or hoax, bogus, borderline bogus, borderline bogus, spurious, spurious, or spurious, uh, heretic, heretical, 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 heretic, heretic, heretical. Epistle, Epistle of the Barnabas, the uh, Epistle of Barnabas, making the cut. Criterium, Criterium, Major prophets and minor prophets. I don't know. Prophets have two categories. That's 
So uh, God chose the major prophet and second prophet. I don't know why he just appointed two classes of prophets. That's absurd to me. Apocrypha, hidden secret. Specimens, spe written specimens, written specimens. Subset, right? And third category called mm -hmm, expanding on stories and characters from the Old Testament. <coughs> Gospel of Peter. Well, that's just about it. Thanks for listening. And uh, this was uh, how uh, this was from how stuff works, and who decided which books of the Bible made the final cut. <laughs>